All right, all right. How's it going, beautiful people? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. World's greatest living artist. World's greatest living artist. Yeah. This is Mindset Monday. Monday to get your mindset right. To get that that head of yours right in the right place. Everybody needs to get their head in the right place. Most of us don't have our head in the right place. Most of us have our head, I don't know, somewhere else. <laughs> Look, guys. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. And every Monday, I come to you guys at noon to talk to you guys about mindset. Keeping your mindset right. Keep that mindset in the right place. Because it is my belief as an artist that the number one thing, the number one thing, numero uno, is your mindset. Your mindset. Nothing else is more important than your mindset. I believe, I personally believe, that the most important part of your art career, your art business, is having that mindset right. Even if you're acting with a lot of strength and a lot of force, if your mindset is not right, you're going to go through some difficulty. The most important thing to do is to keep uh, a clean mindset, right? A strong mindset. A uh, state of mind that allows allows for what do we call this productivity true productivity I believe it comes with creativity it's creative but in order to get to creative you got to get productive first any type of any type of productive you have to get productive and then you become creative but the very first thing that comes before that okay the very first thing is commitment. First you get commitment. How's it going, Carol? Good to see you here. First you get commitment. Okay? That's the number one thing. That's your mindset. That's that's senior to everything else. You get commitment. You commit yourself to doing something. And then the next thing you, you do is you become productive. And then the thing that follows productivity is creativity. Most artists are trying to get creative before they even get productive and much less before they even get committed. Most artists, this is the problem that, that most artists face. I would say the vast majority of artists face this problem. Now, I know, I understand, not, ev not everybody wants to be Pablo Picasso. Not everybody wants to be moi. <laughs> How's it going, Jolly? Not everybody wants to be... A, a productive artist or prolific artist or whatever. Not everybody's after that. I understand that. I know that very well. However, I believe that unless you get productive and you get prolific, you will get super creative. Now, I'm not talking about getting quality. You can get quality without being productive or prolific. Okay? You can reach high levels of quality. But quality, sadly, in this world is not necessarily the thing that is going to help you. Quality can only take you so far. Now, I'm not saying don't strive for quality. By all means. But put productivity, put, put productivity and commitment, okay? Commitment and productivity senior to everything else, to quality. Senior, yes, you heard me right, senior to quality senior to perfectionism, senior to everything else, to your hairdo, to your good looks. <laughs> How's it going, Arta Krista? If you don't get committed as an artist, uh, you'll, you'll experience a funny thing. There's going to be a week that you're like, yay, I can do it. And then there's going to be another week that, that it's like, oh my God, I'm a horrible mess. I can't do this. You're going to have that. <laughs> you're going to have this ups and downs. The only thing that keeps the highs, highs and not lows, <laughs> valleys, uh, 
is commitment. Commitment. Commitment is the only thing that's going to keep you on the game. Even if you're productive, okay, you may not be committed. Okay? You could be you could be productive but not truly productive. Truly productive means that all of you is in there. You're not you're not trying to escape anything. All of you is in there. And in order to be all of you in there, you first need to become committed. No commitment, no productivity. It's a roller coaster ride. I know it happened to me. <laughs> the, the 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 roller coaster comes as a result of of plugging in and plugging out. You know, you plug yourself in, you become extremely productive for maybe one day, two days, a week, uh, or you start losing steam, and then and then uh, and then you become uh, afraid. That's what happens. You lose steam, you become afraid, and you're like, I don't know what I was doing right. What was I doing right? There was nothing you were doing right. You were doing. That's that's what you were doing right. You were doing, but you were doing with full heart. Commitment. Commitment means you were being fearless. You were being fearless. And the only way to get fearless is to get committed. You have to get committed. You have to say, I'm going to jump in there. I don't know what it's going to look like. I have no idea, but I'm still going to jump. Right? In order to get truly committed, in order to get truly committed, you have to invest a resource. All commitment is investment of a resource. Either energy, money, something. You have to invest something in, in, in the commitment. When you, when, you, when you are committed to a partnership, right? You're investing something. You're investing love. You're investing yourself. You're investing your energy. You're probably investing uh, more than you think you have. You know, when you when you get committed to a relationship, whether it's a friendship, uh, uh, your 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 daughter, your father, your son, your your brother, whatever, right? your wife, your husband, your partner, whatever, when you get committed into a relationship, you're investing a resource. The only way to know that someone is committed to something is what do we what do we use, right? They have skin in the game. You have to you have to have skin in the game. And you could be productive, okay? Just just telling you, watch it here. You could be productive and still not be committed. See, because what happens is that you'll show up and be productive but not truly productive. Truly productive means that you're squeezing every inch of it. And you're being fearless. And that level of productivity only comes in with commitment. When you commit yourself to something, you start experiencing a higher level of productivity. When you start saying yes to life, you start saying yes to things. You start going, oh, okay, well, I got to do that. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. You start jumping into it. Oh man, like all of a sudden you start becoming creative. All, all of a sudden all these juices started start, you know, flowing and you're like, oh man, I didn't know I could do that. I guess I can do that. You you start recognizing your potential. And another thing cool another cool thing happens, you start squeezing time. You start you start crunching time. What what you thought was gonna take you two days to do, you realize it only took you five minutes or ten minutes to do. What you realize what you thought was going to take you I don't know what you've been procrastinating for the past month. You realize it only took you, I don't know, 30 minutes or 10 minutes to do or some bullshit like that. You start you start crunching time. Uh, and, and don't kid yourself. People that are doing anything in life, crunch time. They crunch time. They crunch time. Because, again, as I said before, uh, time is... is is uh, it's made up. It's not even real. You know, time is made up. So if time is made up, you're able to control it. You understand how to control it. Time is something that we all think we have a limited amount because our our our, our world changes, right? We have daylight. We have we have uh, night. We go to sleep. Uh, 
the body, the body changes, the body changes, right? The body changes, uh, and 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 my ex may experience some limitations, depending. May experience some some form of limitations, but, however, if you are committed, those limitations are going to be meaningless to you. If you're committed, if you're committed, this this is why we see people doing tremendous things even though they have limitations you know what perceived limitations what we think is a limitation to someone else is, is, is someone who's committed it's not a limitation it's the commitment commitment is the word of the day and mindset Monday if you commit you will reap the benefits of whatever you're after okay so I'll leave you guys with that Stay, uh, stay committed and uh, find your potential. The only way to, to find your potential is to stay committed. Figure out how you can stay committed. I don't know. Uh, write your goals down. Read positive things. Find things that scare you. Do things that scare you. Do things that you're uncomfortable with. If you keep doing the same things that you're comfortable with, you're not going to grow. It's just not. It's impossible. It's impossible. Look at people that 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 swimmers, professional swimmers. They have to go through some really serious shit, right, to become professional swimmers. Uh, athletes, right, any type of athlete, uh, building muscle. You you have to literally, you know, make your body hurt. Literally, make your body hurt to build muscle, and then eat different stuff, right? You can't eat the same thing. You 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 you, you can't have the same food and become a bodybuilder. What's up, Emily? Thank you so much, out of Chris. I appreciate that. You can't eat the same thing and be like, oh, I'm going to be a bodybuilder and, and, and eat Cheetos. It doesn't work. That's why I can't be a bodybuilder. It doesn't work. <laughs> Not for me. Right? I would have to change the way I am in order to be a bodybuilder. I would have to change all of my... My my commitment, right, to my to my to exercise, to diet, to blah blah blah. It's the same thing with art. In order to get the ball rolling, in order to make things happen, the commitment needs to be up there first. It's the, it's senior to everything else. I know people are like, oh my god, I got a, I got this great idea. It's bullshit. Commitment is senior to great ideas. Commitment is senior to everything else. This is why it's so widely recognized. Heroes are are are. are Oral traditions, right? We have heroes over and over. Uh, not just heroes, but... Uh, well, yeah, they are heroes, but... Uh, uh, people that, that have... Transcended almost into mythology, you know? Thank you, Jolly. People that have transcended... Um reality into mythology all of a sudden we have we have people doing all sorts of things right in history that they, oh my god they did this extraordinary things almost almost they flew in the air or they or they took a they took a punch and and, and nothing happened or i don't know they walked on water or whatever right because their level of commitment was so high that that uh People just uh, remember them. Remember them. Everybody remembers someone who's committed. Everybody. No, nobody remembers someone who did something great. I don't think that that's what we remember. We remember the commitment. Because commitment is not easy to come by. We don't. We don't remember. I don't know. People who had a. Uh, I don't know. People who had a lot of money or people who. Like we talk about them, we're like, oh yeah, but but that we remember that we're like, oh man, let me think about so and so. We think about committed people. You know, we think about committed people, people that that good or bad, sadly, sadly, but that's the reality. Notice, I'm not I'm not talking about we remember good people. We remember committed people. Hopefully, they're good, good souls to bring good 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 things to the world. Uh, but we remember committed people, sadly. You know. Many times, sadly, people that commit to something are are uh, 
very strongly, very powerful, very dangerous, very dangerous, you know, and, and, and it's, it's proven, right, it's proven in, in wars and history, people, Napoleon was committed, right, Napoleon was committed to, to, to expanding uh, France, right, Napoleon was a committed guy, very dangerous, very dangerous uh, bastard, uh, Mexico, Pancho Villa was committed, right, very dangerous bastard, uh, any, uh, pick any country, you know, pick any place. Anyone that's committed, uh, either for good. Mother Teresa was committed. Was committed. She was committed to helping to helping uh, uh, children and, and, and poverty and 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 so many things she did. Right, committed. Just like Tony Robbins. I think about Tony Robbins. I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, uh, Tony Robbins is committed to helping people. I mean, let's keep it real. A lot of people. He's not doing it for the money. If, he, if it was the money, if he would have been a banker or some other shit, it would have been a, 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 a I don't know, some funds guy or something. The reason why he's Tony Robbins because he's committed to helping people. He just got really good at it because of his commitment. You know, Oprah's committed. Anyone, you know, Jay Z is committed. My wife is going to a Jay Z concert without me. <laughs> She's going to a to a Beyonce concert, but I was like, dude, I, I gotta go see Jay Z too. She's like, you're not coming. <laughs> I hope you watch this. <laughs> She's going with her girlfriend stuff. So yeah, guys, stay committed. Be committed, and you'll you'll find um, you'll find your potential. I think I think in commitment we find our potential. All right, guys, take care. I will talk to you again soon. I got to get to work. I've been driving around a lot today. Take care, guys. Peace.